Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Dr. Functional Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Today I'm going to share with you the exact diet, treatment, and supplements you need to take to clear candida from your body. And this is what I really consider to be my six-step candida cure diet protocol. And you're going to see amazing results with this protocol. And let me say this first, what is candida? Candida is the overgrowth of yeast and bad bacteria in your body, and it can cause some major, major symptoms that you want to get rid of. And so some of the symptoms of candida can include any type of fatigue issue. If you struggle with chronic fatigue or adrenal fatigue, those can be related to candida. Any type of leaky gut issue. Leaky gut is intestinal permeability where Proteins like gluten can leak through your gut and cause inflammation of your body. So if you have food sensitivities, or if you have digestive issues like gas and bloating, um, also if you have any problem related to the thyroid, those can be warning signs you have candida. Also, if you get yeast in your body, if you notice, uh, let's say, yeast or a whiteness on your tongue, or if you ever get chronic yeast infections or coming down with a cold and flu often, those can be warning signs that you have candida. And then, of course, also with candida, any sort of other digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome or chronic diarrhea or constipation or even acid reflux, those are warning signs that you might have candida. And last but not least is a sluggish metabolism. If you aren't losing weight and burning fat like you know you should be, those are warning signs you, have, you could have candida along with actually even bad breath and lack of detoxification. Those are, those are some major warning signs. So here are the six things you need to do to eliminate candida fast. Number one, you need to stop consuming so much sugar. Now, I know that's obvious. That's something that I think most of us realize is that sugar feeds yeast in your body. But again, you have got to get rid of process, processed sugar. Fruit juices. Um, any sort of added sugar to any sort of product sweetener. Um, even, even certain, pa most packaged products and fast foods are also high in sugar. Even things like pasta sauces and crackers, you'd be surprised, but sugar is added to almost everything. So again, eliminate especially the processed sugar out of your diet. As a replacement, I recommend using a little bit of stevia, which is a no calorie natural sweetener, and then about one to three teaspoons a day of Manuka honey, okay? Those are the sweeteners you should be using if you have candida. Number two, you need to eliminate grains from your diet. Why? Because grains turn into sugar and they also tend to be <laughs> more inflammatory. And so again, getting those grains out of your diet, especially wheat products and gluten-containing grains, that's step number two. Instead, do a lot more vegetables and maybe some starchy carbs. Number three thing you have to do to clear candida from your system is support your spleen. Now, this is cutting edge information that a lot of people don't realize. And this is a practice in ancient China that is often used by acupuncturists today, but they have found that the number one cause of candida is a weakened spleen. And so if you have spleen issues, and spleen is responsible for digestion of the body, producing red blood cells in your system. And so the spleen is a very important organ. In order to support the spleen, there's a couple things you need to do, but really the spleen is supported by starchy foods, especially squash, things like sweet potatoes, butternut squash. I'm also even doing certain types of beans like lentils and mung beans. So again, getting some of those good starchy carbs, and that's really where your sweetness should come from. A little bit of butternut squash, acorn squash, foods like that that has that mild sweetness. That's the only sweet you should be really getting in your diet, again, with no processed sugar, and again, very low amount of fruit, typically, when you have that as well. But again, you wanna support the spleen. Another great way to support the spleen is by drinking barley tea. You can buy roasted barley tea on amazon.com, and barley tea is the number one uh, herb, really, that helps support the spleen as well, doing that as a tea. The next thing you wanna do, number four, is support the liver. The liver is crucial in supporting the liver in terms of detoxification for getting rid of candida in your body. And again, your liver is responsible for detoxification. So for that reason, you really want to support that area. And so the really the foods that support the liver are sour foods. And so doing a lot of probiotic rich foods and sour foods, things like 24 to 29 hour fermented kefir, also uh, fermented vegetables like sauerkraut and kimchi and apple cider vinegar. But getting those sour foods are great for supporting the liver and getting rid of candida. Number five thing you've got to do is you got to support your intestines, both your small and large intestine. And that really comes down to bitter foods, foods that are bitter in nature, things like kale, 
and arugula are, are more bitter. Cinnamon and ginger and certain spices like turmeric are more bitter in nature, but doing bitter foods and bitter herbs, those are very supportive of the digestive tract. Romaine lettuce is another one. So again, I would really suggest that you also get some of those bitter foods in your diet. And last but not least, you gotta take a probiotic supplement. One of the keys to overcoming candida is eliminating and really starving off the sugar. So again, not uh, and yeast in your body by eliminating sugar and grades. And then at the same time as those bacteria or those yeasts die off, loading up on good bacteria. So again, making sure you're getting some of these good quality probiotics in your diet. I'd recommend typically taking a double or triple dose of probiotics while you're doing a candida cleanse or while you're doing this candida program and protocol for at least 30 to probably 90 days of following this program. And the last sort of bonus tip I wanna give here is a lot of times people tend to go and take antifungals, whether it be a medication or even supplements, to eliminate candida, and I wanna say this, that really doesn't take care of the main cause of candida. Typically when you have candida, the thing you wanna do is follow those dietary protocols and support the organs I talked about in your spleen, your liver, and especially your small intestine. But again, in certain cases for taking for about a 10 to 14 day period, you can take natural antifungals like oil of oregano, grape seed extract, garlic, um, other essential oils as well can work. So you wanna do this, but don't take those more than 10 to 14 days and make sure you're following the diet with that. If you can follow those tips, I guarantee you are gonna see great results and eliminating candida from your body. Oh, one more last tip. Don't consume a lot of cold foods. Cold foods actually tend to be hard in the spleen and can cause candida to grow in your system. You actually wanna be doing a lot of warm foods like bone broth soup, which is a great thing for getting rid of candida as well. Guys, this has been Dr. Axe with my best tips on how to clear candida. And by the way, if you wanna learn more tips and natural remedies and natural cures, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page and check out draxe.com.